Statistics of Gambling in Canada Gambling in an industry is not a novelty in Canada. It is thriving business permitted and regulated by law, a form of entertainment enjoyed by locals and tourists alike. Due to its liberal stance towards gambling, the country has profited from gambling activities for years and we're curious about the statistics of gambling nationwide. Statistics are important because experts investigate so everyone can understand it better. And since our passion is gambling, we look at casino industry statistics to unveil some of the curiosities that hide behind the numbers. On this occasion, we will tackle offline data gathered by relevant service and authority reports. Game Preferences The most popular gambling activity by far in the Great White North is betting on lottery tickets. The participation rate is 65%. This is followed by instant win tickets 36%, while 22% of all Canadian gamblers visit casinos. An Ipsos Raid Lottery and Gaming study from 2013 reveals that 49% of all participants said that they always play slot machines when they visit a casino. Combining the spending potential of the respondents, it turns out that most of the money is spent on slots. Then lottery tickets card games, blackjack and poker. These reports don't include sports betting. Nevertheless, a lottery slip is the god most Canadians pray to. Age distribution The legal gambling age in lumberjack country is either 18 or 19 depending on province. Statistics show that young Canadians between ages 18 and 24 are more interested in Xbox gaming. In 2016 search, 59% of respondents aged 18 to 34 said they participated in lotteries, instant win or scratch tickets in 2015. The largest single age demographic falls between 20 and 29 years of age. Overall, the majority of the Canadian gambling community includes batters in the range of 35 to 50. Bingo players are usually older than 40, and slot players are normally between the ages 55 and 64. Provincial Stats Casino gaming industry statistics can be filtered by province in Canada. It becomes obvious how accessibility to particular types of gambling affects provincial participation rates. Enough! I know science talk. And let's review the numbers. VLTs are allowed in Manitoba, but not in Ontario. Participation rates for these two provinces are 21 and 2%. When we look at bingo, we can see that it's generally more played in Canadian Atlantic region. We back sports more than 10,000 gambling venues, casinos, lottery outlets, etc. It is the province with the most gambling opportunities. Gambling participation in Quebec is 66%, when in Ontario, percentage reaches 83. Out of Canadian 17.3 billion that Canadian gambling industry generated in 2017, 43% was generated in Ontario. Problem gambling and addiction. With problem gambling, many people are in denial. A small 2% of all gamblers in Canada admitted having occasionally thought about themselves as problem gamblers. On the other hand, 15% of them never thought they were being excessive with their gambling privileges. Some of the typical signs of problem gambling are the person rather gamblers than do something he or she used to enjoy. Constantly late for work or school or other obligations due to gambling. Bills start piling up because the person forgot to pay them or spend the money of betting. The person is no longer up for socializing with friends and family. He or she would rather watch cards hit the felt or a roulette ball drop. Mood swings out of nowhere. Boredom, we're not gambling. The Problem Gambling Institute of Ontario reports an estimate 3.2% of Canadians are dependent on gambling. Now let's get to the fun part. In reality, how much money do Canucks spend on their favorite casino games? National data claims that 60% of the nation's popular partakes in gambling. 
out of this number, 43% spends between 1 Canadian dollar and 20 Canadian dollars per month. Approximately 14% will spend between 20.01 and 100 Canadian dollars on a monthly basis. No more than 3% will stake over 100 Canadian dollars per month. That's not so bad. What's interesting is the spending potential of Canadian millennials. This was investigated in 2014 and the research shows that millennials will spend 123 Canadian dollars on average playing card games, namely poker. Estimations say that at least 76% of Canadian adults engage in some form of gambling. As of 2017, that percentage stands for almost 30 million Canadians. The acceptance of gambling is culturally widespread and the government sees gambling sector revenues as substantial. In other words, Canada is gambling heaven. While in it, players are not bothered by the numerical data. Taking a step back, getting the handle on the figures may put certain habits in perspective. Statistics of gambling can be fun and useful if you look at it the right way.